Hey Capricorns, welcome to your general love reading here in January 2020. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always guys, so go ahead and check that out. In the description box I will also leave the names of the decks of cards I use in every video. I've already posted the horoscope videos and the general tarot readings along with the single so if you're looking for them they're already posted on the channel there so let's see capricorn what's going on with your love life express your love go ahead make the romantic gesture so if you wanted to know like you know should i put myself out there go ahead make the romantic gesture it might be if you're a cross watcher that a Capricorn is going to express their love to you. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so you've got um, this person could have triggered like issues from childhood, like attachment issues, abandonment issues, things like that. So you may just believe it's about the person, but it's actually more about something that was unhealed in you from childhood let's see here true love this is a romance of a lifetime and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations well you may be thinking that um this person hasn't changed or isn't going to change or hasn't come forward yet but keep an open mind positive thinking um brings positive results right a negative mind will never have a meg neg a, a positive life sorry there let's see don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light to fit in so <laughs> i did a video yesterday called thinking out loud heart prenup right and what i was speaking about was the beginning of a relationship um laying your expectations let's say out on the table um and i feel like here you shouldn't hold back or let people cross your boundaries just so that they accept you right don't dim to fit in don't um withhold pieces of yourself so that they like you let's say because eventually it'll come out so this could be the message for a cross watcher or a capricorn but the message is the same don't try and hide who you are. Don't try and dim. Don't try and make yourself small. You know, um, the sun does not care who it burns. It keeps shining. So you keep shining, right? Don't make yourself small for other people. A true love will accept you, right? You know, it's just funny. I just seen something before this video um, saying, well, it was a post I'd made on my Facebook and it came up on memories from um, like five years ago saying money will get you plenty of people, but struggle will get you the right people, right? So you may go through difficult times, but the right people will stick with you no matter how you shine. They're not going to be hating on you. They want to see you shine. So don't worry about shining. You know, because you'll bring the right people towards you here. You could be going through some family issues at this time as well. Um, maybe try to look at things from other people's perspective with compassion so that you can, you know, start to move things forward. Um, another um, great line or lyric i like is um it's not always rainbows and butterflies it's compromise that moves us along so you may be trying to compromise with family i see good news celebrations coming together here with the three of cups and union okay so it could be that you're now going to come together with somebody somebody's definitely got some good news for you or going to tell you um that they love you it may even be a coming together of you and your children or you and your parents you and your sister things like that you know and just hashing things out and you know saying i love you this is me i love you i don't love you any less just because i'm shining you know so yeah go ahead capricorns shine you know 
Look at that, six of swords. So you're definitely moving forward with a positive state of mind because swords are about thoughts, they're about words. And so you could be having these positive conversations that get you out of, um, you know, this rough area with a true love or family or friends, things like that, okay? Um, and you keep it moving forward. Once you get this good news, it helps you to think more clearly move forward. You're definitely going to be wanting more intellectual conversations at this time, maybe about spirituality and things like that. The air energy seems very good for you right now, Capricorn. It's getting you moving forward. We are in Aquarius season. So you may be listening to your higher self more and thinking more positively. And that positivity will bring in a positive life. And here you are. Look at you. <clears throat> The King of Pentacles. So, um, moving towards a successful business or good news about a promotion even with the King of Pentacles. So, good news from a boss or things like that. Um, but I feel like it's you. It could even be good news about your health um, if you've been waiting on any sort of news like that. Because um, this King of Pentacles is somebody who's, you know, been through challenges and struggles in life and got the badge. So it's like, look, I'm wearing the t-shirt. I overcome that. I'm ready to go on and stand strong and fight strong because I know there'll be new challenges, but I'm not thinking negative like before they even get here. It's like you've learned to um, take a tower moment um, as it happens, right? So you may have been through some towers in the past and you freaked out, you, you know, panicked, you worried, um, but now you've learned how to deal with things as they come up and not fret and overreact. Could be like learning how to deal with your children or parents. Or you may have had some good news that you are pregnant, okay? That may be an earth sign baby. Okay, so let's see. Could be um, another earth sign that you're dealing with as well that you want to unite with or wants to reunite with you. And I think you would accept because we have this express your love, this true love and keep an open mind. But we see that your mind is more positive now, trying to stay on track. Look at that. Knight of Wands, this fiery dragon here, somebody rushing in towards you at the speed of light so fast that they've set on fire. So somebody definitely is coming in um, to spark, you know, this passion between you both here. Um, take action. This is somebody who's going to be quite charming, um, wants to win you over, um, quite funny things like that, you know, this tall, dark and handsome person wants to sweep you off your feet nonetheless, but they have something to say and they're ready to fight for you here. They're coming in ready to fight for you and I feel like you're like, I only wanted a conversation. I didn't need, you know, this whole heroic show. I just wanted a positive conversation where we can communicate and move things forward here. So, Maybe your family members or your children are waiting for you to have a showdown with them. So when they come in, they're all guns blazing here. Um, but, you know, they're met by you who's now learned how to deal with maybe confrontation or, you know, these tower moments in a much more positive way. So you can just have a conversation and move forward from it. And they're quite shocked there. Um and again, look at this person shining. So it's like, take action. If you're the one who needs to speak up and express your love, take action here. That's what the Knight of Wands says, okay? Don't dim it. Take action. You may have learned throughout childhood that, you know, oh, well, this person, I'm not going to fight for them because um, nobody ever fights for me to take me. You know, it could be that this is your parents here and you ended up just with... Um, a mum. So you have these issues from childhood about um, your dad. So, you know, it could be even your dad coming in to talk to you or something like that as well, building this relationship. And, you know, you are mature enough now to maybe understand the other person's perspective from love, from compassion. Okay, now as an adult, I can understand why you left, but I don't I didn't understand as a child and maybe you should have spoke to me about that, right? Um, but nonetheless, 
um, whether it's a parent, whether it's your child or whether it's a romantic partner here or even a friend, um, I see you both moving forward from this, a conversation that moves you forward, brings you together with the Three of Cups there. And don't feel like, you know, in order to have this person back in your life that you have to stop shining. No, it's telling you very clearly, don't dim to fit in. You know, be who you are. Be proud of who you've become after these battles. Wear those medals there with pride. The star, look at you shining, right? So Aquarius season, I feel like it's going to be just as intense as Capricorn season for you to follow your dreams, your desires, your goals, um, you know, following your destiny here to reach that star here. Um, but I feel like it's going to be more clear roads ahead. It's not going to feel as heavy as Capricorn season, but there's going to be just as much work and... Um, wishes fulfilled so you know we said in capricorn season capricorns had a lot of luck and a lot of things going on um you can expect that same good fortune in aquarius season here it just won't feel um as demanding it's like you earned your stripes here so um you get your wish granted with the star temperance yeah look at that you learnt those um, higher lessons, you may need to not compromise as much. You, this was what you might have been learning. Look, I was over compromising and dimming myself to fit in with family or friends or a lover. Um, and I'm not going to do that anymore. I've learned that that serves me no purpose to dim myself. It doesn't serve even the other person any purpose to dim myself. So that could have been a lesson what you've learned. And again, with temperance, an indication of a second chance or somebody wishing for a second chance and that wish coming true here. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands, beautiful. Another action card here um, and communication card um, showing that things will move forward. And if there's any sort of hurdles in the way here, you are now like Pegasus and can fly over, you know, anything with ease. So I definitely feel like the constellation is supporting Capricorn uh, right now and even through 2020 that, you know, you're going to be able to overcome any obstacles you may face because of previous lessons you learned. So it's like putting into action what you've learned through these tower moments throughout your life, whether it's all the way from childhood till this point. It's You're now able to put things into action. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords here. So again, speaking of, you know, all those things you went through, um, all those, you know, nightmares you faced here, um, they, they all served a purpose, right? I feel like this is, if you're having sort of, um, sleepless nights or you're up at night or you feel some sort of anxiety attacks I think this is a person thinking about you a lot that they're affecting your energy right um, so if you're having you know sleepless nights or somebody's constantly on your mind where it's annoying or stressful like why won't they get out of my mind they are thinking about you a lot they're thinking about the ghosts of the past what went on um, and how to come towards you it could be them wishing for you capricorn so it could be causing you to have nightmares or dreams about them even here if that's the case then somebody here is coming towards you they're going to ask you for a second chance could be an aquarius a fire sign um temperance sagittarius there could be a taurus or indeed another Capricorn or a Virgo here. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Hermit, you know, you're attracting people to you because you've done this inner work. You've been on this soul's journey and now, you know, you understand your light is the key. The light within you is the key. The answer is within you here. So you're not going to dim it. You're going to let it shine here and everybody will be drawn to you. The right people will be drawn to you. And I don't see you like 
um, trying to even fit in anymore. I mean, look at this hermit, it's all quirky and standing out and doesn't matter, you know, like who thinks what of him. It's like, it takes all kinds, right? So we have bats, we have butterflies, um, but it's like, I feel you're finding <clears throat> your soul tribe here. So going in, going within and um, going through this lesson helped you to meet the right people and, and draw the right people into you and find your soul family. So if somebody is worrying with the Nine of Swords, that's their lesson to learn, right? You can only be you. Everybody else is taken. Eight of Swords. So yeah, <clears throat> they're trying to figure out how to let you go, how to get you out of their mind. Um, it quite easily could be a Capricorn who's thinking about somebody and going to approach somebody, like I said, um, and express their love here. Um, but it could be somebody who's thinking this about you also, Capricorn, right? They're trying to figure out how do I free myself? How do I stop thinking about them? Um, I thought I'd moved on from them. I thought this was easier. Um, in reality, with the Eight of Swords, we're never um, stuck or trapped. It's an illusion. It, we just need to work through it with positive thoughts and positive thinking and um, movement, right? Not closing our eyes and ignoring um, the thing that scares us the most. Maybe the person needs the full card and needs to take the leap of faith and jump towards you. And like I said, they may come in all guns blazing and find that their perception of you is not what it used to be. You're not who you used to be, so they need to keep an open mind, or you, Capricorn, need to keep an open mind. Um, it will go very smoothly, this conversation, but they may be expecting <clears throat> or worrying um, about something that's not going to happen, because that's the Nine of Swords, right? And the Eight of Swords is what's kept them stuck, not coming forward, because they was thinking the worst, what's going to happen. Rather than taking the leap of faith, they let fear um, add up, right? Pile up, and it just became this anxiety and overthinking. So, and like I said, this could be you, Capricorn, so if you're letting this anxiety and overthinking build up, it, things will go smoother than you expect them to. Stop the worrying and jump, okay? Go ahead and express your love to free yourself from this Eight of Swords if it's you that's in this energy. It may be somebody else coming towards you that will jump. Good luck, guys.